What about private schools? Many parents feel that is really their only option. Right. Well, what happened in our country is we noticed that children um, from private schools have higher test scores than kids from public schools. That's true. Okay, so we decided as a country that that would be, we called we call it the private school effect. And policy filed suit, uh, followed suit rather. Um, we started giving grants to kids in uh, underserved areas so that they could go to, to uh, private school. We, we all, as a nation, we decided that private school was better than public school because of these test scores. But then something happened. Two researchers were um, looking into how to better teach math. They were math researchers, and they too believed in the private school effect. And what they noticed when they were running their regressions is that when you separated everything, when you took two almost identical kids, like let's say two middle class um, Hispanic kids in an urban medium sized school district, the public school kid would outperform the private school kid. When you took to upper class African American kids in uh, smaller rural school districts. The public school kid would outperform the private school. Like when you compared apples to apples, when you compared child to child with uh, the identical socioeconomic circumstances, the public school child was outperforming the private school child. Oh, that's interesting. The, the only time that wasn't true was in severely, severely disadvantaged areas, in which case, the private school child would outperform the public school child. These researchers found that the overall test scores of the private schools were higher because the private schools could choose who they wanted to admit. And they would choose the, ki the children who were most likely to succeed academically anyway. It had nothing to do with the schools. They just chose, they just selected the children who were more, you know, who were likely to make academic advances. Um, the public school kids had a lot of disadvantaged kids that brought the, you know, or, or um, even disabled kids that would bring the test scores down. So overall, the public school scores were lower, the private school scores were higher, but then, the, and then these researchers went on to write a book and they found, and they found all sorts of things. And, and one of them was that, that, you know, private schools could use their autonomy to embrace these cutting edge curriculums, but they don't. They use it for marketing. They found that private schools were less likely to send their teachers for professional development courses, and professional development courses are very positively tied to academic success. Now, to say, these, to say that these findings were disputed is an understatement. Okay, people came out and did all, they, they criticized the study, they did other studies, and they put on top of it. The only thing that all the researchers agree on is that the, the, the biggest predicator of a child's academic success is parent involvement. So basically, what I take from these findings is you're not guaranteed to produce a, um, a higher advancing academically successful child by putting them in private school or by public school. If you want to send your kid to private school and you have the money, go ahead. But guess what? If you're doing it because you th because society tells you that you have to, or if you're doing it because you're afraid that you're the only kid with, you know what I mean? There's no guarantees. So you could be throwing away, you could be throwing away your money, and you could have stronger. Um, you could you could more readily meet your goals, or your child could meet his or her goals in public school. Could wow. you know? And then you have money left over for college, which we just discussed is very expensive.